Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I am James Dunham, and we will try the cooperative game mode in Project Reality 1.3.8.0. And the purpose of this video is to show you how to create a local game and play a practice match against bots, uh, AIs or computer controlled opponents and teammates and uh, get to just get started with the game learn the basics the rules of uh, basic infantry man. I will publish more videos covering more roles now you can name your server that you will start set your password your friends can join you via a local area network. You can set the player limit. I will now play uh, alone and I will set the number of bots to the maximum just to get them up a bit crowded. Here are the most important settings ticket ratio. Well, the goal of this game mode to reduce the opponent's tickets to zero. And here you can see how each side starts, what assets they have available on the battlefield and how many tickets they start with. Whenever a unit, a bot or a player spawns into the game, one ticket will be deducted from the total amount. So if you want to have a really fast quick game you can set your ticket ratio to lower than 100 and the number of the total tickets for each side will be decreased accordingly. Or if you want to have a really long game you can set your ticket ratio to somewhere around 500 or even more. We will go with something around like 200 just to have enough time on the map for the purpose of the video to get us accosted with the most basic features of the game. So you can see in the left side of the screen that there is a list of available maps. There is a scroll. You can uh, choose between the available maps. Well, you can see there is a name associated with each map and there is also another three letter acronym for the game mode rather the version of the map. INF stands for Infantry Combat. Uh, maps with the Infantry Combat setting have really limited uh, vehicles that are available to each side of the map. There is also the STD, the standard setting, and the ART, the alternate setting. These are very similar, only the capturable cap uh, waypoints or capture points are placed differently. Maybe different sides clash together, just like in Asap Kal. One of the sides changed from the standard. When you switch to the alt, you will get the Mac, the Middle Eastern Coalition, instead of the Hamas, on one side against the idea. These factions are all based on real life na uh, national armies or militia forces, armed groups, professional soldiers, and such. And their equipment is somewhat in close resemblance to their real-life counterparts 
while this is a military simulation game after all. We can choose between a wide variety of maps as of this version. Future versions may have maps removed or altered or some more maps even added. But first to get accosted with the roles of the basic infantryman, we will choose a map with infantry combat. I, recomm I recommend uh, to everyone that they start off with a relatively small scale map. As you can see here is a mini map of the map that we have chosen. It is highlighted on the left side of the screen and you can see here the map's name. It must be matching. You see the setting of the map as it is infantry combat. That is an alternative setting and this is the standard setting. In infantry combat there, uh, there are capture points on the map and you can win by capturing those and uh, reducing the Ticket of tickets of the ticket number of the opposing side by getting them to ticket bleed, so not letting them uh, control any points on the map. It can end the game very shortly, or you can uh, combat for control over these various capture points. And, uh, bleed out the opposing side that way. Whenever you capture a control point uh, from the opposing side, it also makes them lose tickets from their total. You can find a bit more information on this matter uh, in the forums or any kind of wiki page that you can look up. Well, uh, let let us just start with Gaza Beach. After you have uh, chosen a map to play, you can add this to the list of chosen maps, and if you choose to deploy, then you will play these maps in a loop. We can add other maps like this and change the order with the move up or move down the highlighted map keys. And you can remove the highlighted map from the chosen maps with the remove uh, map button, map key button. Well, just uh, Click the deploy when you are ready, and all the chosen maps that you want to play on are in the correct order in your chosen maps category. You click deploy, and I pause the recording and restart again when the game is loaded. Or take the video to two parts, if it is already over five minutes, I feel and uh, publish them separately. Well, if I cut these parts too, uh, well, in this case, James signing out.